Hey Boomer, can we do a video so we can learn to score and shoot like you? Oh man, that's probably gonna be a pretty difficult video to do. <sighs> but this is Beard League Bum Hockey and I'm a cocky guy, so why not? Here it is. What's going on you guys? Justin aka Boomer, Beer League Bum Hockey Reviews and today I am going to do a video in relation to that question that I put up on the screen but I actually get this in DMs all the time on Instagram, I get asked in person, I've been asked on the YouTube comments and it's been an ongoing process. But see the problem with this video is the end of the day, this stuff might seem pretentious, it might seem excessive, uh, people might not believe this is what I actually did moving up into you know, my later years of hockey, but I'm going to break it down to you. I am going to give you my best beer league tips so you aren't a bench warmer. And some of them might seem excessive, some of them might seem weird, but at the end of the day, this is how I structured my game and I did since the beginning. I'm 39 years old now. I started playing, I think, when I was about 25 or so. So it was very, very late adult. Most people, of course, don't do that. But if you're the same situation as I was and you're starting as an adult, these tips are just gonna help you kind of hone in your skills to be the best rec or beer league hockey player you could be. And by all means, I'd love to hear in the comments if there's anything that you guys do differently or you would like to hear more of maybe expanded version because I'm just gonna give you a summary in this video. So uh, stick around, it's gonna be an interesting one. Beer league bums, best tips for rec hockey and beer league. All right guys, so tip one, and this goes all the way back to the first time I went on the ice, and it's exploit the thing that you are most good at. And look, I get we're not all athletes and we don't just jump on the ice and all of a sudden we're good skaters or we're good shot or we can deke or anything like that, but if you have a natural talent that just seems to be there, you should exploit it. And the reason this is so important is because when I first stepped on the ice, I had a Sherwood wood stick coffee curve. I could hardly skate. I was like Bambi on ice. And I wound up and took a shot for my first time on the ice and a goalie came up to me right after and was just like, geez, that shot is ridiculous. And I was like, oh, really? I didn't really realize. I just, you know, always played street hockey all my life, etc." But right away, everybody commented on my shot. Everybody, naturally, for whatever reason, you know, I'd weight trained all my life, done all these things, I was strong, and my shot was already very good. So what did I do? I took that and I completely ran with it. I worked on it all the time. Every warm up, I practiced my shooting. I was constantly working on my snap shot, my wrist shot, and my slap shot, of course, to the point where it blew up and it's one of the things I'm known for now. I'm not a great stick handler. I am fast, but I'm not great hockey sense or know where to be positionally or anything like that. I can shoot and I completely exploited it and made it the best part about my game, which makes it very difficult for people to stop because I have just blown it up. So whatever it is that you're good at, maybe you're really good hands, maybe you're fast, maybe you just seem to always be the best playmaker. Maybe those are the skills that you have and you should totally exploit them. If for some reason you have decent hands and that's your thing, you become a toe drag wizard, exploit that. But whatever it is you naturally seem to have a knack for, make sure you completely push it over the edge because no one will be able to stop you. Well, here I am guys, going to another drop-in. Just picture me 20 years younger, and I have hair, and I'm definitely not as wrinkly or 40 years old. But in all seriousness, I'm actually going to another drop-in today. Uh, I'm gonna go to Planet Ice. Um, summer's a little bit weird. I, I like to hit up some drop-ins here and there just to stay in shape. I'm only playing like once or twice a week. It's weird for me to settle in uh, until the camping season starts, and then we'll go from there. But hit your drop-ins. That's definitely how you don't be a beer league bum. Tip two, pick up hockey, drop-ins, 
man, when I first started, which was like 15 years ago, there was no hockey community. There was no apps. There was no postings on Facebook and things like that for hockey drop-ins. You had to call in at like 9 a.m. at the community center or wherever it is you're trying to play to get a spot. It was insane. Now you just go to hockey community, you go to whatever, Facebook, et cetera. You can find teams, you can find apps. There's all sorts of stuff. But drop-in hockey and pickup games are the best place as a new adult beer leaguer or rec hockey player to actually work on some of the things that you need to work on without jumping into some league game and just being completely out of place. I played drop-in before I joined a league for about uh, six months to a year. I can't remember because it was a while ago now. And I was playing like three or four nights a week at different centers all over the lower mainland. I was driving all over the place just to get to drop-in. And all I did was work on my skating, work on my shot, and just get used to playing the game with other people. But it was the perfect opportunity to exploit from tip one, my shot. Every place that I went, I, there would be 10 minutes of warm up. I could work on my shot, etc. So you can do the same. Hit up your pickup hockey. Tip three, don't play the game like everybody wants you to play and the stigma of what the proper way to play hockey is. Because at the end of the day, with beer league and rec hockey, uh, you can get away with some weird stuff. And that's definitely how I play the game. I do not just resort to, you know, the proper way to play. And it always seems to work out in my favor. In that uh, quick clip I just showed you, we have a play where I line up on the far side and the centerman just smacks the puck down the ice. I skate away, get a shot off and a scoring chance. It happens all the time and people don't expect it. You'll also see in a lot of my videos that I line up behind the uh, centerman looking for a pass back for a one-timer off the circle in the offensive zone. Stuff like that. Don't play this game with the stigma or the... The coaching 101 BS, especially in rec hockey and beer league. Yeah, in the NHL or something, players aren't going to get away with some of that stuff. But this is rec hockey and beer league. Do something different. Play the game with some fun and creativity, and it will actually work out in your favor. Because people will be like, who the hell saw that coming? All right, tip four going to be a little bit pretentious, but stay with me here. First thing first is all three of these combined are what are going to help your shot. A lot of people ask me, how do I shoot so hard? You know, where did I learn how to do that? At the end of the day, I'm really just overpowering the puck. So you got to work on that arm strength. So arm strength first, number one, make sure you work on it. Doesn't mean hitting the gym a million times a week or anything crazy like that, but you should be working on your arm strength, especially straight arm strength, which comes from your biceps. So work on that. Next one is grip. You got to work on your grip. I do this all the time just sitting in front of the TV doing my squeeze and then doing my uh, finger extensions and these will help your forearms to get more off when you are shooting. So work on the grip, work on the straight arm strength and then finally rotational power. Rotational power was something I learned and really made my shot better by just doing things like wall throws with uh, a ball, uh, the video here that I'll post here, big rotations, etc., and working on just the core. So you want a really hard shot, those three things, bicep strength, grip, rotational power. Your shot will be unreal after a month of doing that. All right, tip number five, calf strength. Now, acceleration and speed in hockey come from calves. I train calves all the time. I always have. Uh, it provides a lot of explosive off the line acceleration. And I think calves are one of the few things that nobody trains, especially in beer league. And most people ignore leg day altogether. So let's go with don't skip leg day. At the end of the day, the best way that you can increase your skating stride power acceleration is to not only train legs, but train calves specifically with really heavy explosive movements. 
You're always up on your toes when you're playing hockey. Your acceleration is always from your calves at first and your first three or four strides will determine how fast you can get to a puck and how fast you can reach top speed. So don't skip leg day and especially train calves. Tip six is what this channel is all about. It's kind of middle of the pack because once you nail all those other things, now you can start doing this. And that's tweaking your equipment and actually doing some research and finding what works for your game, especially sticks and skates. I did a video on that where I think you should kind of spend the money in those areas and maybe not so much in others, but tweak your equipment. It took me years to determine what was the best style of equipment for me, what type of kick point I like, what type of curve, etc. And if something feels like it's not working, then tweak it. Try something different, move on to something else, just f do the research, find something. If you can dial in your equipment, it is light and day. The other day when I was testing the AS5 stuff, I was not the same player as when I was wearing my normal 2X Pro stuff, my FT4 shoulders, elbow pads, pants, etc. When I went to the bulkier AS5 stuff, my game completely took a downturn and I was not the same player. And it's because I'm just used to streamlined, you know, light, close fitting gear, not bulky. The AS5 stuff just didn't work for me. So do not rest on those types of things. Tweak your equipment and continue to do so until you've pretty much exploited every aspect of your game. Tip seven, keep your weight down. Beer league bum, it's ironic, I know. Uh, I recently did a video a couple months ago where I lost a little bit of weight and my game definitely improved. I've gained a little bit of that muscle back now um, because I'm just trying to keep my strength to weight ratio in a good frame where I'm fast but I'm still strong on the puck and I still can't be knocked around easily and my shot's still high. So. Yes, 250 pounds, if you're 5'8", 5'9", 5'10", somewhere in my range is probably not gonna work for you. And yes, that might be offending some people, but definitely keep the weight down. I know as we get older and we move into beer league, uh, you're gonna be a bit heavier, but just you know, hit the gym once in a while, walk, enjoy the outdoors, that type of stuff. If you keep your weight respectable, you'll be a far better hockey player. So do your best with that, You know, hit the gym once in a while, Keep the pizza maybe to once or twice a week and you'll have some pretty good success. All right, if you made it this far, the final tip, and the final tip is gonna set some goals for the season. Uh, I did not score over 100 goals by just leaving it up to chance. I literally told myself I wanted to score 100 goals between the three teams that I played on. And the way that I accomplished that was working on my shot, my speed, and these aspects that I provided with you today. And the only way to do that was to shoot more. So for me personally, to score 100 goals, I had to take 100 shots. So that's what I made sure that I was working on was my shot. That's how I would score 100 goals. So let's just say you want to be, you know, the best defenseman, you know, carry some even goals for and against on the ice, you know, things like that. Just work towards whatever that goal is. So set it and remind yourself of it every day, as weird as it might be in just a beer league or rec hockey game, to just remind yourself that you set a goal to do a specific thing. I set a goal to score, so that's what I tried to do every game. I made sure I was shooting the puck and I made sure that I got the puck on net. So whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, set that goal, check in on it, and you'll make it happen. I'm telling you right now. Anyways, guys, a little bit different video for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Uh, lots more gear reviews releasing. You'll see those pretty quick.